So right behind me is Sykes Hall, and this is the very building where the admissions office decides which lucky people get to come to Clemson University. And it's actually around this time where they start sending out those Tiger Town bound letters. They're just so excited to come to the school, especially me, right here. But then I was on Reddit the other day just to see if there's any subreddits about the school. Came across this thread which was talking about how to get accepted into Clemson University. And the thing is, is that these kids were just hella stressing about how to get accepted into Clemson. And I'm like, what? Now, obviously, if you're looking at Reddit, I go to YouTube and there are literally no videos that go in depth about how to get accepted. Luckily, that's what I'm here for. I'm JT Bruce, welcome to the show. Alright, so before I get into this video, be sure to go down real quick and hit that subscribe button, put on press notifications. I usually upload around Wednesdays and Saturdays depending on what type of video I'm putting out. Anyways, why should you come to Clemson? Obviously, you have your reasons of why you want to go. Maybe because South Carolina has this very good weather or the school has the major that you're into. Whatever your reasons are, you obviously want to come to the school. Not only is it the best school in the South, According to Princeton Review, we rank number one in career services, as well as number seven for the happiest students in their colleges, as well as number one for town relations, meaning that this is a college town. Going to the college, you're gonna love living here as well. Um, let me also, let me also clarify that, um, We've won the national championship in like the past three years. You know, we, we, we kind of came up short this year. But I don't really want to talk about that. Joe Burrow's great. I mean, that's all I can say. Now, we have the reasons out of the way. What do you have to do to get into Clemson University? So before you put in that $70 and you apply to the school, you need to know what it takes to get into this school. Clemson has an acceptance rate of 47%, meaning that out of every 100 applicants that try to apply, only 47 lucky students get to come here. It's a moderately difficult school to get into. Not too easy, not too hard, somewhere in the middle. GPA, it goes without saying, you need to have a 3.75 to a 4.0 GPA. If you take honors classes or AP classes or even dual enrollment, you'll be pretty good. For me personally, I took around, I took honors classes since sophomore year. So my senior year, I took dual enrollment classes at a community college that was right close to my high school. I graduated high school with around a 4.8, 4.9 GPA. That's what got me into Clemson because now we gonna talk about those test scores. The average SAT scores for students that applied last year was around 1310 for a composite score. Do not follow my example i when i took the sat twice i made an 1110 on my sat and then i made a 1250 i believe for my second test do not bank on only your gpa to get into this school because for some people that will not work i had to do a lot of praying hoping that i would get accepted now for your act scores now the average score for students that got accepted last year was around 27 to 29. Your ACT score doesn't have to necessarily be that high to where it's like a 36, but at the same time, you can't be applying to the school with like a 22 or a 23 um, ACT score. Now I know for the ACT, there's the option of super scoring, meaning that you, they combine the average of both of your test scores or they take the highest. Once again, do not follow my example. I had around a 25, 26 ACT score. Jesus got me into the school. He did because I really don't know how the heck I got in. Good grades, good test scores. You're gonna be pretty good. So you got these good test scores, good GPA, but that's all that Clemson knows about you at this point. Are you going to be a student that represents them well while you're here and after you graduate? I know that it's recommended for freshmen that they're supposed to write a personal statement and put a lot of effort into that. 
you know, we're a college in the South, fairly conservative, you know, conservative student body. So values are going to mean a lot when it comes to the admissions office. They're going to look for students that have character, that have personality. And there's one word that they also look for when it comes to accepting students. Diversity. All right, this color or darker or lighter, I don't know. But if, you know, if Clemson wants a diverse student body as well, you, you, you got a little bit of an edge, you know, if you apply to the school. Excuse the identity politics for a minute. For the band, you know, they have tryouts for that. And if you're doing music or theater, you're required to show an audition for that as well. Because Clemson loves its talent. If you've got a talent and you can show it, Clemson wants that. So you have good grades, and we know that you're a pretty cool dude, or do that. Now we gotta get into what do you do outside of school. Extracurricular activities goes without saying, whether it be community service, sports, band, whatever group related activities that you've done in high school, Clemson wants to know all about that. You know, if you have a really good student profile about yourself, and you know, you're in group related activities, as well as different programs across the board, you're pretty good, and honestly, don't stress about it. This school is not Harvard or Princeton. You don't really need to stress about getting in. Even though it's moderately competitive, if you're already a good student, like, you're gonna get in, you know? I'm from Anderson, South Carolina, so that's like 20 minutes away from here. And I picked Clemson because I've always been around here as a kid. There is something truly in these hills. We are all a huge family. You say hi to somebody you know, they'll wave back. The student body is pretty friendly regardless of who you are. And all in all, you're gonna have a pretty good experience when you come to Clemson. You're gonna be able to have all of these different experiences. And Clemson just gives that homey feel. So we're in the top five for students that would come back to this school. If they had to do it all over again, if they had to apply to schools, if they had to spend that 40 to $70 when it comes to applying, they would pick Clemson time and time again. Anyways, thank you guys so much for stopping by. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to click the like button, subscribe again if you're new, and remember to always keep your head up, because we're stargazing, baby. Hey.